Look at that pig. It refuses to eat, and it has red splotches on its back. Hmm, the red spots are slightly elevated. We should check if the pig has a temperature. You can do that for me. Here, take the thermometer. Oh, good. That should be sufficient to get its temperature. Hand me the thermometer. Oh, 42 degrees Celsius. The poor piglet is running a temperature. The red spots on his back suggest it may be diamond skin disease. Diamond skin disease? What's that? Is it bad? It can be. It's good you called me when you did. We'll start treatment immediately. Diamond skin disease is an infectious disease caused by bacteria. This bacterium is called Erysiphilatrix ruciopathiae. Humans can become infected too, a process referred to as zoonosis. The red diamond-shaped lesions on the skin are typical of an acute infection. And this disease doesn't go away of its own accord? It would be very risky to leave it untreated because it might result in necrosis in the tail and ears. You don't want to lose your pig, do you? Definitely not. Do something. Right. We need an antibiotic that needs to be administered parentally, which means bypassing the digestive tract. That will kill the bacteria. We will also need to administer an anti-inflammatory drug. I'll go get the medicine from the dispensary then. brought the syringes. Great. I'll inject the pig now. <laughs> right. Done. Your pig should be better soon.
Hi, I'm Valerie. I think she does. See, I adopted this darling little kitty a little while ago. She's so cute and cuddly. It's great you're keeping her. Definitely. But she looks scruffy, and she also has diarrhea, which stinks a lot. That's not nice. Did you notice anything else? Yes. She's thrown up, and I think I even saw some blood in her stool. Then she really needs to be examined. You can take her with you right now. She's really sweet and doesn't mind if you carry her. I'll get going. You can come when you're ready. All right. I I'll be in the waiting room. Well, who do we have here? It's Valerie's stray cat. She's got a whole list of things. Stinking diarrhea, vomiting, scruffy fur, and even some blood in her stool. Wow. Then we better examine her fast. Place the cat on the surgery table. Now bring me the thermometer from the dispensary. You can take the cat's temperature. Yes, the cat is running a temperature. It's probably a parasite, but which one? We'll have to take a stool sample. It's the only way to find out. Maybe Valerie has a litter box, which might still contain some stool? Good idea. Ask her. Well? Do you know what's wrong with her yet? Not entirely. We need a stool sample. Okay. I have a litter box. I'll go home and check if there's still some poo in it. Great. I'll just get a spoon and a container from the dispensary to take a stool sample. Then I'll come to your house. I see you brought the litter box already. And it's got something in it. Stinks something awful. <coughs> you got the sample. I'll take the litter box straight back home then. You can get going. Yes, I need to get back to the animal hospital. Quick! See you soon! <coughs> Oh! <laughs> 
cat's stool sample. Good. Examining it under a microscope may not yield exact results, so please get the Cobro antigen test from the dispensary. Put the test next to the stool. I'll use the Cobro antigen test to examine the stool now. It won't take long. We should have a result in less than 10 minutes. I'll look after the cat in the meantime. We have a result. The cat has Giardia, which are protozoan parasites that live in the small intestine. Giardia can also infect dogs and humans, but there aren't usually any symptoms as long as the immune system is working properly. They are very resilient parasites, so treatment is difficult. Therefore, strict hygiene is required to support the therapy. We need worming tablets and antibiotics. Please get the medication from the dispensary. In the meantime, I'll bring the cat to Valerie in the waiting room. Give Valerie the worming tablets and the antibiotics. This medicine will help your cat, but you must be extra careful about hygiene over the coming weeks. Giardia are very tough. Remove the stool from the litter box as quickly as possible, because that's where they are contained. Boil her feed in drinking bowls, and use several in alternating succession. I'll do that. Thanks. Thank you.